All right. Let's welcome in our next guest, Victoria Bill. She's the Chief Investment Strategist at Banrian Capital Management. Victoria, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. All right, you have some stock picks you want to talk through. Yes. One is a well-known one. We'll start with that one, and then we'll kind of make our way through your list, and we'll try to hear each other around all this noise that's happening down here. It's some Friday fun day. My first time on the New York Stock Exchange, and I feel like I'm getting a roaring welcome today. Yes, indeed, you are. <laughs> all right, so the first pick you've got for us, NVIDIA. Yes. Um, tell us the thesis. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are on board with this, but why, mm. not, why still? I think it still continues to be a good stock just because we want to be able to cap continue to capitalize on the boom that's happening in AI and machine learning and quantum computing. Outside of everything that NVIDIA has been doing in terms of AI, they are still one of the number one producers of like video chip, video microchip mm -hmm. processing. Like all of my friends who are gamers continue to use NVIDIA video, video cards. Right. It's, some, it's, an, it's a company that I don't see going away anytime soon and while I do believe that they're extremely overpriced right now mm -hmm. I think that if you're willing to bet on the bet on small margins it's a good opportunity to jump in all right small margins up right now more than three percent on the day so there we go all right let's flip gears and look at Diamondback Energy you want to yes. go there next yes what's Diamondback, the thesis there Diamondback Energy um, energy energy related companies and commodities um, they're actually doing a huge dividend buyback and very much are supporting their shareholders and has about 820 million, if I remember correctly, is like free cash flow for Q3, Q4. So company is doing very strong in terms of fundamentals. Um, stock has been doing really well. And again, just Fang overall is very supportive of what they're doing for their investors. So I think it's a good buy on all, on all fronts from that all end. All right. Awesome. All right. Let's um, pivot over and take a look at Cisco. Cisco's on your list of picks? Yes. What's the basis here? Basis continues to be a lot of where man, warehouse, manuf not warehouse manufacturing, sorry, but um, warehousing, mm -hmm. um, cyber, everything related to like security and um, Sorry, AI, AI as well. AI as well. Yeah. So they're do so amazing company. They've been doing really well. Again, also the stock is I would say trading actually at a pretty relatively good value. Mm -hmm. So I think now is actually a good time to get in. Unlike some of the again some of the other companies that we were talking about, Fang is also the other one that I think is doing really well in terms of valuation right now. But Cisco again is like a leader in terms of like just video video process right. as well. So amazing company. All right. And out of, say, the tech sector, you have some picks that are outside of that. Where do you want to go next? Vertex, Novartis, which Ooh. one do you want to go? Novartis is definitely Novartis. one. Okay. The one that I actually started watching last year was um, Super Microcomputer back in like Q4 of 2023, back when it was trading around 200. Um, so just seeing the stock kind of spike over to like 800 now, I kind of wish, I really wish I had joined into that earlier rally right. when everybody wasn't really paying attention to it. So, But it just goes to show you some of the gems that you can find in the small cap, small cap space. Yeah, so. especially the, to your point about small caps, small caps have been catching a bit this week. We've seen the Russell creep higher and there's been this commentary about the expansion of the scope in the rally in the market and, and the gains in the small cap kind of giving credence to that point of view. Do you agree with that assessment? Absolutely. And I think also with regard and overall, like we've been entering kind of a more bullish market. And this is around the time when we see um, small cap stocks performing well relative to kind of more of the growthier stocks. Mm -hmm. While I do believe that there's a lot of value to be gained from growth, the growth stocks are kind of like the Magnificent Seven. I think that there's much more opportunity to be found in these small cap companies that you, especially small cap value okay. companies that have been around for like 10 plus years, 20 plus years, who basically in terms of just like their relative, like relative value are still doing really great. Um, Novartis is one that we mm -hmm. talked about. Um, con certain companies that are in like consumer product goods I've always been pretty bullish on. I'll say Smuckers, for example. So those are kind these are the types of companies that like when we think about it, at the end of the day, people are going to constant, people still need to put food on their tables and food in their pantries and they're going to need new iPhones or they're going to need new technology. So that's where I'm always looking in terms of stocks. But speaking of food on their table, mm -hmm. you know, there's have been all these questions about like the proliferation of the GLP-1 Mm. companies, right? The weight loss drugs and whatnot. Mm. So, uh, you know, is a company like a Novartis, or do they have anything in the pipeline? Mm. Or who do you like the most in that space? Uh, 
right. in terms of the GLP ones or mm -hmm. the healthcare space in general. Healthcare space in general. Um, there's a couple of stocks that literally off the top of my head, I can't think of them right now, but mm -hmm. Novartis again has always okay. kind of been a favorite of ours just because of what they're doing in terms of um, like cell regeneration, like their, onco their oncology as well. So I would say that those are kind of the things that we're, that we're looking at. Ozempic, um, like I would, one of the things that I would kind of say is just it, overall, like I think it's very much a hype of the month right. or the flavor of the flavor of the month. But I think at the end of the day, people are always trying to look for more health, like healthy alternatives. Okay. And yeah. so Novartis, again, I think more for their spin on oncology and what they're doing in terms of like um, re research is where I would go to. That makes sense, especially when you look at Novartis. We're looking at it up right now, about one percent. Uh, on the session and to your point about cell regeneration everyone's trying to live longer right now yes. so if a company has it in their pipeline uh, and the, the growth perspective for that with everyone trying to whether it's live longer or be healthier I see why it's on your list mm. all right final thoughts final uh, takeaways on any of your picks final thoughts overall I just like again I think that while valuations, I think overall continue to be very frothy, I think that there's still a lot of like opportunity in the space if you're looking for excellent stock picks. Again, I still am very much positive on a lot of the technology stocks that we're seeing today. And, you know, consumer goods is always a good place to look as well. All right. Great stuff. Thank you, Victoria. All right. That was Victoria Bills, Chief Investment Strategist at Banran Capital Management.